I don't think I will ever get tired of seeing them shift into a dragon. Hmm. Hmm. Just check again. Ah. Oh. Yep. Still awake. And still very much real. But how? Wait a minute. What if time moves differently here than it does back home? What if my roommate is walking around in a nursing home by now, still wondering whatever happened to me? I have to get home. Or at least let them know that I'm alright. Hmm. Hmm. The food was barely touched. Hmm. I'll clean this up first, and I'll pocket some of the fruits and nuts. I don't know how long my dragon will be gone, or for how long I will be gone for. But... But they told me to stay in the palace. Well, technically, where I'm going is still inside the palace, so I'm not exactly disobeying them. I may be clumsy and a bit of a fool sometimes, but I'm smart enough to know when a dragon says stay put, they mean it. Who knows what else is out there? Might be things bigger and meaner. Something bigger and more mean than a dragon. And they might look at me the same way I look at chocolate cake. <laughs> might be clumsy, but I'm not that stupid to live. Well, most of the time. Exercising doesn't count. First, I'll find a way down to the lower levels of the castle here. Out of what I can see from the balcony, eh, there are a lot of levels. Hmm. After that, I'll find my way underground to the treasure room. After that, I will take... After that, it won't take long to find the passage. I remember my way back. Hike the rest of the trail down to my car. Hope I did not get a parking ticket. Or worse, my car was towed. Get home. Call my roommate. Tell them that everything will be fine. Quit my job. Gather my personal belongings. Drive back, hike back up the mountain with my stuff, squeeze through again, and be back in no time. All of that should take me about a few weeks. <sighs> hmm, where's my backpack? I'll have to leave them a note then. Uh, wait. But what if, what if our writing and reading is different, like it's a different language, and the speaking language is just the same all because of the magic that is here. There's no guarantee it will work for writing also. Oh, where is that pen and paper from my job at? I know it's in here somewhere. Ugh. I wonder if it fell into that interdimensional portal that is always seems to be in my bag. I'm going to be upset if it did. If it did, it's probably floating somewhere next to my old credit card and several pairs of headphones and all of my lost socks. I bet Rick and Morty will find all of that stuff before I do. Uh-huh. There you are.
<laughs> now, how am I going to get my message? Hmm. I guess pictures will work. Hmm. All my dueling actually came in handy. Take that, my old middle school teachers. <laughs> there we go. And I will number them tally marks just in case. And and I will lay them in order on the bed. That should work. Oh, and me hugging my big dragon at the end. There. That should definitely let them know that I am coming back. I think I have tried all that I can do to communicate clearly. Now it's time to put my plan into action. Hmm. Just a few hours ago, I woke up in my dragon's arms and was sleeping so soundly next to them. I want to keep doing that. Just not kneeing them first thing in the morning before they kiss me part. <laughs> but I really, really do want to come back. I will come back. I promise. I promise, my dragon. I'll be back. At Eastman. These words are strong. Lower down the thunderbirds. We will ride the waves until the Dragon King has landed. Dragon. So it is true. You are awakened. It has been many years, my old friend. Come now. I may be the Empress of the Isle of Monsters, but I am still your friend Nali, and your ally. I come for your help. Yetis! Calm the Thunderbirds. The king of the dragons could not board if they will not let them. Everyone else below deck. <laughs> you dare place yourself above me. How did I know you slept? Come now, dragon. Don't look so ill-tempered. No dragons have been seen in ages. Since the great battle has ended. It was known. Those who came to trade with the Isle of Dragons either returned empty-handed or lost their way through the wards in the mist you have protected your isle as you slept. Never to return at all. You dragons were not the only one who was affected by the sea witch's magic. When one of my cyclops ships did not return, I sent another and another, each one failing to return, just like the one before it. Finally, Two of my crew members were rescued. They explained what they saw to me. I came and saw for myself the words that you have made yourself. 
I saw beyond the mist, and I could see the tainted remembrance of her magic. I knew from the spells that you cast that you were alive, but all the goddess's mirror revealed to me was your slumbering form. No, I did not use the goddess's gift to spy on you. I would not validate the sacred agreement between our lands, and to use the goddess's gift against you or any other kingdom. But I was desperate. The sea witch's magic has threatened my kingdom as well. I fought it as long as I could, but not even we are invincible. My powers are weakening. Dark magic threads are creeping out of the ocean and slowly killing my kingdom. My people are endangered. The goddess's mirror was given to my people. And I did use it to protect my people. It does not show me everything. However, it did show me the strange woman who awakened you, and that she is not from our world. I am sure she might be a key that would help us all. The goddess gave your people the dragon's heart. Do not tell me you would not have used it if you could have. What would you have me do? Let my people perish and share the same fate as yours? I know bringing the mirror may seem foolish, but even if the sea witch were to obtain it, she could never see into it. The mirror is a reflection of the goddess's soul. It reflects the hope that is inside her and can never be used for evil, despite what the sea witch wishes. The mirror was only banded by you and the other kingdoms only because you do not know how to use it. As extra precaution, nor you or her are able to see through it. These are true desperate times, great dragon king. I know what happened to your people. Many sea monkeys see their stoned bodies laying on the ocean floor. There may be a way to save them, but not if you kill the sea witch. I saw it in the mirror. Something otherworldly controls her. If you and Orion can capture her, then you might be able to kill it. Once freed, she could reverse her spells. You're wrong, dear dragon. If you kill the sea witch without killing the creature that overrides her body, you will commend us all. You obsolete dragon! Fine. I will return to my people. I hope I can at least save and protect them. I will also find Orion and ask for his help. Maybe he can talk some sense into you, better than I could. I am not lost. I am not lost. Oh, who am I kidding myself? I'm totally lost. There are so many steps here. And they seem to go on forever. Uh, 
I'm so tired too. I feel like I've been walking forever. Where is that passage that I came from the other day? It has to be around here somewhere. <sighs> Another dead end. Gosh, damn it. How many levels does this place have? Who ever heard of a castle having this many rooms and doors? I don't even think Buckingham Palace has this many. Uh -oh. Then again, it might. I've never actually been there. Always did want to go. But right now, getting home is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Uh, I've come all the way down here. And I hate going back up. Again. Uh, my ankles and knees and thighs are killing me. And I don't care how many times I told myself. This is definitely not like a Stairmaster challenge. Uh. Oh, crap. Don't look down. Don't look down. Don't look down. Uh. Handrails. Handrails would be a very good suggestion. A lot better than just a stone wall. Uh, and more lighting, maybe. Uh, maybe there is some magic trick to make stairs move, like a giant escalator. Uh, maybe not the greatest idea. With how many floors are uh, down here? No, stop looking. Stop looking down, stop looking down. It might be the longest escalator in the world. Hmm. Maybe there's like a magic door that will take you to where you want to go. Kind of like a, a weird uh, elevator in a type of way. <laughs> that would be cool. It's, it's starting to get really, really cold down here. <sighs> And my jacket isn't doing the bestest job at it. God, it feels like I'm freezing from the inside. I, I sure don't remember it being this, this, this freezing down here. Just take it one step at a time. But these walls are starting to feel a little slick. <gasps> Ow! <gasps> My backpack! Oh. Oh. Shit, it fell. Holy crap, that's that's a far way down. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh, oh please. Fall. Please don't let this itch fall. Please don't. Please don't let this itch fall. Okay. <laughs> I just feel so defeated right now. So tired. Oh god. I'll just sit back for a moment. I feel like I might never get warm again. Yes, so. I'll just. I'll just rest my eyes for a little bit. Dragon. My dragon. Subscribe to Mommy. I do.